It just blows my mind. To start out the day, you had this huge day yesterday, and I say huge because everyone thought it was going to be red. All I keep hearing in all the a lot of videos out there of other people who talk is that oh, the market's going to give it all back. It's it's done. It's the end of the world. And I've been saying this forever. I said that October would be the pain train. It was. I think the Nasdaq dropped 12 percent, so I nailed that. Then I said in November, expect a massive rally. I think this qualifies as a massive rally. I think we're up 10 percent. We're going to look at it here uh, before I get into the best stocks to buy now. I want to talk about some of these growth stocks. I mean, legitimate opportunities to two times to three times your money on these things if we can get that massive run from the Fed cuts. So this is what some of these stocks that I'm looking at, plus the technical analysis of these stocks. So are they the best growth stocks to buy now? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you this, the charts are being very friendly with them in terms of being bullish. So we got a lot of things to look at. Uh, we got a lot to do. And uh, let's just get through, let's make sure you guys, if you haven't done it, you gotta get over and join me over at the stock uh, Mo Academy right now. We do have the course live or add more and more content in there, good stuff. This is your chance. Just click on this link here. Use code gravy for in, in honor of Thanksgiving. A lot of turkeys are going to be out there being cooked up. And I got to tell you, I was down on the road. I was helping people out yesterday. And uh, I, I, got, I am beat. I am beat. It was emotionally draining. And um, you do what you need to do to help everyone. So with that being said, when I was driving back to the studio, there was this tractor trailer. And it was full of turkeys and they looked so happy and it was one of the moments that we were both stopped at a light and I, I could see this truck full of turkeys and they had open grates so the turkeys could just look out and they're all looking around and and i'm just thinking man you don't even know you're going to be putting smiles on a lot of faces here in the very very near future and uh that's that's how it is man it is what it is stuff them with some stuff in and we're, we're off and running uh, so yeah, turkey day on the, on, the, on the horizon. I'm cooking turkey myself. Anybody out there hosting dinner or are you going to a dinner? Put it down below. What's your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Be it the mashed potatoes and gravy, be it the family being together. You let me know. Let's talk a little bit about a family. I, I'm going to need a little bit of uh, a pep talk here from everyone else for the, the Thanksgiving meal coming up. I cook it all for everyone. I have a lot of family coming in. Let me know below. Now, as we get into it, and we're going to get into it right now, I want to talk about this because when the NASDAQ had that massive pain, and I said it would happen, I, I was saying it all the way back in spring and summer, and I said I expect it to happen in October plus or minus a month. It happened exactly in October, which my numbers added up to, and they did. They, they filed through. If you watch this channel, you know it's, it's true. It was, did anybody else say that? No. They kept saying, oh, it's going to be running, running, running. You're just spreading FUD. I didn't. I saved people money who believed the data. If you don't believe in data and you believe in wishing, probably not the channel for you. But if you believe in data and trying to make tons of cash off of it, let's roll with it. And so you saw that. And then I said uh, over the last month, we had that, that drop down. You know, we bottomed out October 26th. And since then, and here's what I wanted to show you, we are now up 13.41%. That's a massive rally. And think about the correction we had. We had the, the correction down and you say, okay, what's the correction? Well, you had this big drop all the way down um, since July, summer. So you have this correction at 12.27%. Check this out. Say you were dollar cost averaging through that. Within just three weeks, a little over three weeks, you are now up 13.41. But the thing is, I told everybody, I told everybody for the last two weeks that November 20th or 21st, those two days, you November 20th was going to be a day that is normally historically green, and we have a green week this week. And I had people say, well, no, no, that's not it. And it did. It, look at this. Just like I told you, 1.13. Everybody who, who doubts history, you're missing out. If you don't look into the historical uh, precedents of what happens during these different time frames when there's a lot of movement from ETS and the hedge funds and everything else, you miss out on some easy gains. To me, this was an easy gain day. And we'll see because the Christmas rally coming up, Santa Claus rally, last five trading days of December 1st, 2 of January are notoriously green. And they have been three out of the last four years. So that's what we're watching for. Now let's get in and talk about, now we're going to move into these best growth stocks to buy now. I want to discuss these. I know, and I know I asked you for a list last time. I'm going to ask you for a list again down below. And these have to be growth stocks that you think have a good chance of two to three times in the next, we'll say two years after the Fed cuts. Within two years after the Fed cut, 
Give me some stocks you think can two to three times. I'm gonna chart some and make a list of five of the best growth stocks to buy now that are not on this list and that you recommend. So if you guys wanna see this, this best stocks to buy now, maybe I'll make it five to 10 even. I don't know, just put them down below. We'll do minimum five and we'll go up to 10. So if you always wanted me to go out there and chart one of your stocks, this is your chance. All right. And so you can tell me why you like it or you can just say, Mo, I like, you know, this is a stock, Mo, this, or just put the stock. And uh, that's what I'll do. All right. Now, now, before we get into the stocks I pick, make sure you come on over to the stock squad. We've been discussing a lot, buying and selling. The guys are doing their thing. The trade alerts are there. Come on over and check it out. Sign up today. We got a good opportunity. The link is right down below, just like the course. And of course, my own personal Patreon is down there as well. We got a lot of opportunities. Now you can see my portfolio is down there uh, for doing that. Now, the first stock I had in there, and we talked about this, I did mention it, and I mentioned it a, a while ago, and I said, this thing should blow up. It has been doing exactly what I've been telling you. We got down, everybody thought it was gonna start collapsing in here, and, and we had that turnaround. And I said, using my technical strategy, this thing should run. And it did. The only thing I said is look for consolidation here. We got above on the Bollinger Band, double time here. Then we did get that consolidation. And then I expected it to run up and running again. So it was about four or five days running again. Anytime this happens, that's usually what happens or you have a slight pullback and then the run. So it's either, you know, and so this filed through with the exact thing we usually see when we have that Bollinger Band getting, getting stuck a little bit, that's it. Because we have uh, only 1.5 out of 1,000 will go above it. So when you're on that line, that's telling you, hey, it's time for a breather. And we do get that breather because the whales pay attention to it. And then, uh, of course, the RSI, absolutely bullish. The only thing I'm worried about, a little high here, but DraftKings doing its thing. Uh, and you can see we were just just sideways, like a little roller coaster, like them baby roller coasters. I don't know. Anybody ever hear of Knoebels Grove? Where I'm from in central Pennsylvania, Knoebels Grove had this little roller coaster. It was like this, no flips or anything, just up and down. Uh, it was fun. Like uh, they had, and I can't remember what it was called, but you know, my mind's, you know, you get the older you get guys, it's just getting rough. Uh, it's no fun getting older, but anyways, here we go. So this still looks good. Everybody's saying, do you like it still? Yes, I do. Uh, we might see more consolidation, but I would expect it to be an upward movement. Even if it does start to go sideways, I don't think it's over until we get a, uh, a change in personality, which has not happened yet. It's still bullish. If it turns bearish, we would be quick to get out and load up on the puts and make sure we make money on the way down. That is why, uh, as for these best growth stocks to buy now, what I'm doing is making a fifty dollars to $100,000 portfolio. And I'm going to be using the charting alone. No fundamentals, charting alone. And we're gonna see if we can crush the market or if we actually lag the market, basically using active trading. So if that's something that's interesting, I'll be putting that in the course and we're gonna see how it goes. No, but I will share it on YouTube as well periodically, like I do with my overall, the, the weekly portfolios, which I'm gonna share at the end of this video. So now the next stock I got right now I had in there was Redfin. I did talk about this one. This one's kind of nicer because we haven't had that pop up yet. I did say when we got hit the Bollinger Band, uh, we got to pull it up. How about that? You know what? We're going to let that stay in there. Now you can see when, Redfin's the other one. And I talked about this the other day. So we hit the Bollinger, expect consolidation. Well, here's your consolidation. It's happening exactly what I told you. Now, if the markets all collapse, expect these to collapse with them. But if everything just kind of stays normal, I would expect this to have outperformance of the market, believe it or not, from uh, once we get this, this run back on. Right now, this is bullish. Everything's looking good. We had confirmation. We are getting a little bit of sideways action on the RSI. We want to see the strength come back, and hopefully we will see that. Uh, but right now, the charts are doing exactly what we, we thought they would. We got the confirmation. Uh, from the EMAs, but not from the RSI, but then we finally got that here, but now we're getting a little consolidation. So I do think this is gonna run. This is one that I would consider buying once I start that portfolio. Then I thought, let's take a look at Apple because this is Warren Buffett's number one, basically over, over half his portfolio is in this. He loves it and there's good reason why. It's charting beautifully. And this is what some of the other ones I believe will look like. You can see that uh, I told you I thought we'd get up to 200. Uh, I should say around 197, 198 is the next level of resistance, 197. And uh, the, the level of resistance I wanted to break was uh, 189, which we broke today. And you can see we're up to 191.45. 
that my friends is what we're talking about so now i would expect to get up there and if we can break that over 200 then and this is definitely getting high on the rsi you can see a lot of the stocks the best growth stocks to buy now that i'm showing you or any stocks for that matter when they they're running through this this nice bull cycle you're seeing a massive move on the rsi which is scary because once you get that overbought rsi do expect some red days i believe we are on the cusp of those red days unless we get a little consolidation a little sideways actions for a few days let that pressure come off the rsi but we don't know right now the charts look beautiful and i am definitely not fighting them and i'm going to follow them and that's what i've been saying and we're going to see how it goes now another one i wanted to bring up from buffett was bank of america now this one may just put it in the best stocks to buy now uh, you can see the charts are looking good the financials are doing well this is very bullish in terms of the rsi as well as my emas with the crossing of the 13 and the 50. folks this looks very juicy and it, we had that run up to the top of the bollinger band consolidated down this is the normal look like i tell you and then uh, of course you got that nice pennant look there and then boom off and running that's exactly what we got and so I'm liking what I'm seeing there. And then another one I thought I'd bring up is the company I used to work for. That's right, I don't ever talk about it, but yeah, I was a American Express Financial Advisors. That's who I worked for. I was the financial advisor. So boom, up and running, there we go. I was uh, did my thing for that company for a while. Great company too. I have nothing bad to say about them. They're always a great company. I actually recommend them uh for services and so here you can see once again it runs up you have that consolidation next leg up so the next leg up on a few of them i've been waiting for that's what i've been saying uh, and so uh, you can see the 13 cross here this is where you would expect the big run at that point and it is exactly what happens the five cross is always a nice little push up and then the 13 and then you get a little bonus so now we see how long this thing can run but what do you notice same thing as usual the rsi is getting close to my 80 level and it's in the 70s which a lot of people are very fear fearful for and they're rightfully so fearful so that's it now i wanted to show the charts as well what do i mean by the charts i mean my portfolio and we have this here it's now up 11.55 percent via o weekly i've been putting 100 dollars a week in you can see all the green there it is green all the way up to just a few weeks that are not green so we're almost going to get it off the market goes up five percent we have new highs at least compared to what this stock was and that's what we're looking for and of course for those following the crypto it's up 16.76 percent folks hundred dollars a weekend look at all this red but don't worry plenty of green in there as well so i did want to share that with you so that's what we were looking at for the portfolios now these are the best stocks to buy now if you haven't done it come on over to the patreon and the stock squad patreon stock mo patreon get the course down below take it to the next level lifetime access in the private discord for the course only it's not the stock mo or the stock squad it's for the course where we talk about these things and i know a lot of people in there would like to share their their buys and sells that they are doing in terms of how they did with the bread recipe this is your chance to see the the bread recipe in action and it's good stuff and learn about it and and actually take your own time in doing that all right folks that's what i got for you. i appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money